Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna talk about seven books that you should read before your business. The first book that I wanted to touch on is The In Me by Michael Gerber. And I think this is one of the best books that I ever read when I was starting my business because it took me to another level when I wanted to think about how to organize a business and how a business works. Sometimes we just think it's just going out, starting out and just doing things, selling, building and marketing and doing all those things yeah but this book will turn your way around if you have never run a business because it actually going is going to show you how you can organize a business how a business works from the process perspective and how you as the owner of the business as the ceo of the business what is your role inside that structure and how you can get that business to the next level and to the next level. So it is a very practical book. It's very, and it's very short. You can probably read that in a day, but the amount of information and opening eyes, thinking and tips that it's going to show you, I mean, it is gonna take your mind to a different level when you think about a business. For me, it's, it was one of those transforming experiences. Like when I started, like I said, I was always thinking on the technical side and I would say, well, if I can program and I can develop, I can probably sell my services to other companies. And that's what I did. And the book will explain how that mentality works for everyone. And for everyone from, let's say you are a plumber and then you're very good at plumbing, then you think, oh, I can start a business about plumbing. Everybody starts that way and everybody most of the time ends that way by providing those services all the time until they get old. But this book will actually show you how you can go from that mentality, which they call it the technical mentality of you are a technician, I'm very good at programming, I'm very good at plumbing, and how you can get away from that mentality and actually go to a CEO level on how you can actually delegate those tasks and how you can actually build a business structure with marketing sales operations to actually delegate all those jobs that you have as a technician and focus on how you can automate that business to make it grow and to make you actually be able to sell more and to be able to get more customers that you as a sole person, as a technical person, won't be able to do. So it's very good. Try it out, read it. It will help you a lot. The second book that I would recommend is The Lean Startup by Eric Ries. Like, I mean, that book is amazing too. It would help you out, even though it's written from a technical per perspective and for technology companies, you can always apply that to other companies. And I think it works perfectly fine for any other company. It's basically will take you to the idea of how to get that business idea that you have today and how you can launch it into a market. And it will guide you into very quick steps that you can do to actually launch that idea and without having to wait for months or years to check if it's actually going to work. So it will get, guide you through the process of building a minimum viable product, which is basically a small version of your idea, but that it can, you can launch very quick. And it will uh, teach you how you can get feedback from that MVP that you created, that small idea that you have created, and how that you can incorporate that feedback into that product again. So then you can continue growing and continue selling, or just maybe just validate the idea and know if it's going to work and also know if it's not going to work. If it's not going to work, you wanna know that as quickly as possible because you can teach that idea then and go to the next idea. That's what the book will tell you. That's what the book will explain. And it will show a process on how you can actually get that feedback and let it get that information and iterate until you get that business going. Very good, try it out. It doesn't have to be applied to technical businesses. It cannot be applied to any business. That's what I think. The third book that I would recommend is Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Also an amazing book. And a lot of people will recommend that book from the finance side. If you are in personal finance and all that, you should read that book. But if you're in business, you should also read that book. Why? Because it will guide you to that mentality of 
getting to invest in assets in business and how you can get those assets generate income for you so you can get wealthy down the road and it will get you that idea from why a job will actually not make you rich and why building a business will actually get you rich and it will explain that process in a very nice story about his rich dad and his buddha and i think the book is wonderful because through that story you will learn a lot of things it will guide you to this idea of how you can have different type of passive income ideas or businesses that can actually generate income for you and get you to the next level down the road it for me it's more of a mentality kind of book it's a way of how you can switch your mentality from living in a world where job is the actual driver of everything and how you can get to that mentality of the rich people and successful people. So it's just a mentality book. I think it's very useful and you should read it if you are looking to start a business and be an entrepreneur. The next one is The Blue Ocean Strategy by Shankin. And this book for me also was amazing. This book will teach you how you can have your idea of or your business and how you can make it different from other businesses that are out there. How you can make differentiate your idea from other ones so you can actually create, create your own market and have your own niche. Because when you have a copy or a me too idea, it's very hard to succeed when you have other people that are already established. So the book will guide you into how you can differentiate yourself and how to find that point of differentiation, how to find that unique thing that you have. So you actually create a different market, a unique market just for yourself where you can attract niche people and sell your product easily because you are not competing with other ones. So the book will guide you through that process. It will guide you into how you can do that and what are different examples of other companies that have done it. If you're starting out, I think you should read that book because from the get go, it will get you into that mentality and that idea of how can I be different and how you can differentiate when you have all these people playing in this market. How can you stand out? How, why people will buy from you? What are you going to offer that is unique? To those people in that market. The fourth book that I would recommend is Selling the Wheel by Jeff Cox. And this book, it was one of the first also that I read when I was starting out. This book might be a little old, but for me, it was an eye opener when I started thinking about sales. And me as a developer, I always thought in my mind, I will never get into sales. That's a scammy for me. I'm not a salesman. And even if I do, I'm going to be bad. I don't think salesmen should exist until I read this book. This book made me think why salesmen exist and why we need them. And it made me think why I should become a better salesman, a better salesperson. And it's actually a story of how this person invented the wheel but everybody else wouldn't want to buy the wheel from him because they were already doing the job that they were doing without using wheels they were using maybe square wheels or they were just pushing things around but they had no wheels and how these guys struggle to sell the people the wheel so they can make their job better I think there is a very famous quote with Henry Ford that relates a lot to this book. Henry Ford, when he invented the car, people asked him why he invented the car. And he said, well, if I would ask people what they wanted, they would, want, they would ask for a faster horse, not a car. So that's how he went through that point from not listening to people and actually inventing the car and creating the car and trying to sell people why the car was better than horses, which was hard at the time. But the book gets you to that journey of how this guy invented the wheel and how hard it was for him to sell the wheel to other people. It will help you out selling. It will help you out to sell your idea because not a lot of people are familiar with what you are selling, with your product, why they should buy from you, how you can structure your benefits, and how you can get people to see those benefits so they can buy that product from you. Great book, you will become a salesman right away. Sixth book that I want to recommend is Dare to Lead by Brittany Brown. 
this book is from a psychological, I think, and leadership perspective, it will actually help you grow your mind. It helped me a lot with my growth myself on how to be a good leader, but also how to think about a specific things, a specific situations. It will help you in your business life, or it will also help in your personal life. They are connected. And I think Brene Brown is just an amazing author, an amazing person with such a green insight of how our minds work and how we can take advantage of those specific things that are like being vulnerable, how to be and use empathy and how you can build empathy and how you can use those skills that you have to apply to your business to become a better leader, even to your personal life to become maybe a better husband, a better dad, a better friend, a better son, a better father, like a better anything. You can apply those skills to become a better boss, a better employee all the way. That book is amazing there to lead. It will guide you on how to be vulnerable and how being vulnerable will help you out actually develop those leadership skills and help other people see you around and rally those crowds. Amazing book. I had a great time reading it. I would suggest that you go and read it yourself. The seventh and final one is the 22 Immutable Laws of Marketing by Al Ries. That book is also a little old, but it's a basic for all marketing. It has a lot of stories in it, but it will guide you into 22 laws on how you can market your product and how you can be different when you are marketing that new idea that you have. That book, even though it is old, everything applies to today and all the ideas and all the tactics that it will show you there it will apply today how you can differentiate how you can be the first in the market how you can be different in the market how you can change tweak a little bit of your messaging or tweak a little bit of your product to actually become relevant to actually be the first one on the market and how you can uh, get into the mind of people to think about your product and to sell more about your product great book i would always recommend that you read that one it's also very quick it's a small book you can probably read it in a day so go ahead read it and let me know what you think so again as thanks for staying until the end and i hope you like this list of books i enjoy all of those books if you have any one that i haven't recommended here feel free to leave them in the comments and we can maybe do a book review about that one later on thank you